Okay, for the first time in a very long time, I'm actually watching the fight with friends. So what we're doing right here live, this is all real time, meaning that I do not know who won the fight. Right now, it is November the 20th, 2016, 12.29 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live with FightView360.com. I picked Andre Ward to win. We do not know who won the fight. We are waiting for the scorecards. Please subscribe. Now, in my personal opinion, I do have to watch the fight again. You know how I do. So, therefore, sometime in the next 10 to 12 hours or so, I'm going to... Harold Letterman was drunk. Harold Letterman was drunk. Let's listen to the scorecards. And we'll be right back. Uh, he worked um, uh, Canelo Alvarez over Miguel Cotto. He had a 117-111 for Canelo. He's a pretty good judge. Glenn Trowbridge from Nevada. Uh, he worked Manny Pacquiao o over uh, Jesse Vargas, you know, recently, 118-109 for Pacquiao. I thought that was the right score. And uh, last but not least, Bert Clemens from Nevada. We have to listen to these cards, and then we're going to talk about it. For 27 years, 59 times. i got to be honest with you. Tell me in the comments. I don't know who won. If anything, Andre Ward did what he was supposed to do. And let's hear. Let's listen. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards after 12 rounds of action. John McKay, Bert Clements, and Glenn Trowbridge all scored the contest 114 to 113. To the winner by unanimous decision and new unified light heavyweight champion of the world, still undefeated, Andre S. O. G. He did it. Ladies and gentlemen, he did it. He did it. He did it. Sergey Kovalev slowed down. He did it. The new WBA, WBO, IBF, likely ring magazine, and now pound for pound champion of the world, Andre Ward, has defeated Sergey Crusher Kovalev. I am Tissue Controversy. This is Tissue Controversy Live. And if you look at the cards, 114-113, that's a, you know, that, 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 that's a good score. Because it was a close fight. There were a lot of close cards. So what we want to do is strap him up. Strap him up. Give him his belts. Give me my fucking belts. Where's my other fucking belts? You better go back to the back and give me my other fucking belts. Give him all of his belts. This is, I can't, I can't tell you how happy I am to see this. And it's not because Andre Ward is black. It's because I've seen what he's gone through over the last several years. And to see, where's his other belts? Give him his belts! This fight was exactly... What a lot of people didn't think he was going to be. They thought that if Andre Ward was going to win, it wasn't going to be exciting. My God. I am happy for that man. I am happy for him, his mother. I'm happy for Virgil Hunter. I'm happy for his fucking cut man that looked like fucking Edward James almost. I'm happy for Marshawn Lynch who just fucking kissed his mom. Yo, we're going to be here for another five minutes. What we want to do is we want to listen to, um, listen to the copy box. 
throws 136 more punches, lands at a lower connect percentage, Ward higher at 34%, bolstered by the accuracy of his body punching. Power shots. Kovalev lands 17 more power shots, throws 62 more of them. Kovalev landing at a higher connect percentage, and remember that body shots are power shots. And now let's go to Max Kellerman with the winner. Congratulations, Andre. Doesn't sound like a popular decision. I thought it was a very close fight that could have gone either way. You seemed surprised to me when you got the decision, were you? No, I don't know where you got that from, Max. No disrespect. Uh, I knew it was a close fight. I'm in here, so you never know how a judge is going to sway it. Uh, and no disrespect again, but I think the crowd is saying that they, they, they feel like the real winner won. But take nothing from Kovalev. In a tight fight, he's going to feel like he got robbed. I would have been disappointed. Take nothing away from him. We got the belts tonight. As I said, I felt that fight could have gone either way. It was that close. You had to climb out of a hole you dug for yourself, or maybe he dug for you early. How did you do it? Well, first of all, let me just stop real quick, man. I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for just this full journey. It's been almost 12 years. Um, amazing journey up until this point. To your point, I mean, I've been, I'm, I've been a champion before, before I came in here. I knew it was going to be a tough fight. You never anticipate getting dropped. That was the first time in my career getting dropped, but I'm pleased with myself by the way I responded. You showed championship medal, no doubt. That's how you won the fight. But sometimes when the guy you're trying to climb back against also shows championship medal, it makes it ex ex especially difficult. What did he show you over the second half of that fight as you were starting to claw your way back in? He did everything that I expected him to do, including fade a little bit. You know, he started to slow up. Uh, he never quit, obviously, but he started to slow up, and Verge did a phenomenal job. My coach, uh, just keeping me in the fight and saying, man, you need every round. Go get it. Don't leave anything to chance. And listen, sometimes you're going to win close fights, and that's the way it is. I said at a certain point, only a great fighter is going to win this fight. Do you feel that tonight you've, you displayed, you reached a certain level of greatness that you hadn't yet attained in your career? I mean, it's hard for me to call myself great. You know that. You've been knowing me for a long time. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm a two-division world champion, a five-time world champion, and I beat nothing but champions. So I leave that for the people to say, the pundits, the critics to say. I'm just happy we got this victory, and I give God the glory. A close decision, and this to me seemed close either way you want to score it. People will call for a rematch. Would you give Sergey Kovalev a rematch? Of course. You know, I'm not going to negotiate a fight right now, Max. I've been in the game a long time. I'm going to go home, relax, enjoy this victory, and we'll see what's next. Congratulations, Andre, on a great fight and a great performance. Thank you. Alex Kovalev. What did you think of the decision? Nothing. <laughs> it's a, it's a wrong, wrong decision, you know, like uh, just a... Come on, it, 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 I don't want to say my opinion, you know, like people, witnesses is here, witnesses are here, everybody saw what happened. You not only had early success, including a knockdown, but as he started to try to rattle you and as he fought better as the fight wore on, you never lost your composure, you stayed disciplined. How did you do that? It's my job, Max. Uh, I, made, I made a shape for this fight like a... Uh, Maybe like since 11 years old, you know, like it's it, it, this was a fight uh, all of, of my life, you know, like and like really I disappointed for judge's decision, like it's you see people say like many people, maybe most people will say that you won. Harold Letterman scored for you wide at ringside. I thought it was a very close fight that could have gone either way. Did you feel that he was fighting his way back into the fight later on? Yeah, he, he, he got uh, maybe a uh, uh, few rounds, you know, like, I, I, I'm agreed that not a full fight, like, it's really, like, I, I kept control uh, all, all the fight, all rounds, like, I lost maybe, like, a three rounds of all fight, it's like... I can also see that argument, it was that kind of fight, do you want a rematch? Of course, of course, I, I want to rematch, like, uh, and I will kick his ass, like, uh, is that I just, I just wanted, you know, like, show, show, 
show to boxing like a good boxing like and uh, no short round uh, fight you know like not, not lo small rounds like you showed great boxing both of you did it was a tremendous fight that lived up to the to the hype is there anything you will do differently in a rematch to ensure that you are judged fairly in your opinion of course you know i'm i'm a i'm a i'm a guest uh, here in usa you know he's a local and all judges was from usa like i'm agree that uh, that uh, it, they support uh, his uh, boxer, but like, honestly, be honestly, like, it's a sport. Don't make it politic, you know, like, it, it's a sport, you know, like, I won't despise him. Everybody agreed with this. Just as I think it's reasonable for Andre to think that he did enough to pull it out close, I also think it's reasonable for you to think that with all American judges in a fight that many think you won, you got robbed. I don't think that's an unreasonable conclusion. Sergey, thank you very much for a terrific performance. We hope to see this again. Okay, listen. So, I understand. I have to let you guys know that um, you know how I am. So, I'm likely going to be up all night. Of course, I have a live stream. And we're going to talk about everything in detail about the fight for about a few hours or so. And um, I'm going to watch the fight again in detail in quiet. But I do not in any way, shape, or form feel that Sergey Kovalev was robbed. Now, it is there, there was there was many many close rounds, but Sergey Kovalev faded late. He faded. He was slowing down. He was flopping all over the place. And I want you to let me know. Understand now. I know that in 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 this. In, 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 in boxing today, especially boxing on YouTube, there's going to be a lot of people, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to say that, well, Kovalev um, was robbed because Andre Ward is uh, black and Rock Nation has 500 to 800 million dollars, so they paid off the judges, but fuck all that shit. This is me. I've been covering boxing on YouTube for a little over six years now. From what I saw, and I was watching the fight in detail, Andre Ward won the fight. 114 to 113 on, on the judges' scores cards, on the judges' scorecards, that's not that's not a robbery. That's not a robbery, in my personal opinion. Andre Ward won. Now, I understand that Andre Ward didn't throw as many punches. He didn't land as many punches. But come on. Harold Letterman, and he's a cool dude. I met him, I met him in person. The first time I met Harold Letterman was at the um, Klitschko versus Jennings press conference in Madison Square Garden. I believe that was, I don't, I re, I don't remember the exact date. No disrespect to HBO. I'm a big fan of HBO, of course. I pay, what is it, fucking motherfucking $17 a month for their motherfucking channel. But it's like, yo, Harold Letterman, he was sipping on Grandpa's old cough medicine. You know? He was sipping on that Sambuca. Because there were certain rounds, especially if, 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 I, if I can remember, round number nine. How did he have Andre, I mean, how did he have Sergey Kovalev winning that round? So, boxing fans, watch the fight again. I'm going to watch the fight again. You know how I am. So sometime tomorrow, well, actually it's Sunday now, sometime for the next couple of days, I'm going to be sitting here at this motherfucking computer, and I'm going to watch the fight, and I'm going to be like, okay, well, such and such won. But this is a fight that deserves multiple views. In my opinion, Andre Ward, even though he had trouble for the first four or five rounds of the fight, even though his punch output and punch activity was low, 
during the first four or five rounds of the fight. He did what he had to do to close out the fight. Sergey Kovalev was tired. His mouth was open. His nose was bleeding from the jabs. He was he, he fell. You know, his legs didn't look the same. And also, what did we, we did not see the unofficial weights. Now, you know that both of these fighters weighing in at 175 pounds. But when they come into the ring, we don't know what they weighed in at. Andre Ward looked significantly smaller than Sergey Kovalev. But yet, Sergey Kovalev lost the fight. I'm a Kovalev fan. And for, for those who have been following me, we have about three minutes left. For those who have been following me, I cover these fights extensively. Unlike these other motherfucking goddamn scumbags out here on YouTube, I cover boxing. I don't have a day job. I watch this shit. It's my fucking motherfucking life. So, understand that I'm not going to pick a fighter because of their race. I'm not going to pick a fighter of their because of their economic status. But I really feel Andre Ward did enough. And then when I heard the official scorecards of 114-113, that means Andre Ward got a narrow win. And in my opinion, he did exactly what he needed to do to get a narrow win. Respect my decision. But at the same time, I already know how this works. I've been doing this for a long time now. I already understand how it works. So please... Watch the fight again. Score each round individually. Now, there's three minutes in each round. So, the way I score fights is, it's, it's, it's the best of three. So, therefore, you'll have Kovalev win one round. I mean, one minute of the round. Ward wins another minute of the round. And then whoever wins that last minute wins the round. It's simple mathematics. So what we're going to do in two hours after this video is uploaded, we're going to do a live stream where I'm going to ask her all, where I'm going to ask, answer all of your questions. And when we're going to talk about things in detail, I apologize to you guys that I wasn't at the fight personally because everybody who was anybody was at the fight in Vegas. As far as media is concerned, I'm literally like the only motherfucker that wasn't at the fight. But... It is what it is. Andre Ward won. Team Jordan. Don't be biased. Do not allow racial bigotry or racial injustice to say, for example, I know that there's going to be some motherfuckers out there that's going to say, oh, well, motherfucker, you black. So therefore, you're going to ride with Andre Ward because he's black. I've never been that dude. I've never been that dude. I am T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe. All the links to my social media are right down below. In the description box. And give me about two hours after this video is uploaded, and then we're going to do a live stream. We're likely going to be here all night. And we're going to talk about all the details of the fight. Please subscribe. Thank you.